Hi, welcome, Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on an Asus Vivo book. Let me identify the model here. That is the M1603Q. So in this video, when I take things apart, you can get to see that what are the things you can upgrade. For example, like the M.2 hard drive, the RAM, maybe a battery replacement. In fact, I'll try to remove the motherboard so that we can see whether the keyboard is a full assembly or you can just change out the keyboard on its own. All right, let's jump right into it. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. There are three screws on the top. Three right in the center. And there are four screws right at the bottom. It looks like all the screws are the same in size. So if you mix match to them, uh, mix match them, it is fine. All right, so the next step is to remove the back cover. I'll be using a metal prying tool to go in between that cover. And once I have a grip of it, I will just separate them by pushing them apart. You're gonna hear a little cracking noise to that, which is normal because the back cover is kind of like clip onto the laptop. All right, so the entire cover just come right off. Here I can just quickly identify some of the things that we can talk about. The RAM can be replaced or upgrade. The M.2 can be replaced or upgrade. Same for the battery, you can only replace, but I don't think you can upgrade the battery for a larger, um, and a larger battery for a better time on a computer. So the only thing you can do is just replace, but you can't upgrade them. There's a CPU fan. Looks like the CPU is here and the copper heat sink goes all the way to the right where the CPU fan exhausts away from you and to the right. Speakers, motherboard, and this keyboard. So I can just tell already that the keyboard is a full assembly. It is not a separate keyboard, whereas you can't just change the keyboard. You will have to change the entire keyboard assembly. All right, so just let's just jump right into it. To remove the battery, you have to push this metal bracket away from you. Just push it to that direction. And then the battery connector, just lift it straight up to disconnect it. Remove the screws. There are three screws holding at it. Actually, four and five. And the entire battery will just come right off. If you're not sure where to buy the battery, look up for the model here, which it says C31N1905. I'll link a lot of stuff in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. Um, you're probably going to see the link to Amazon or eBay where you can find the RAM, the M.2, the battery, and uh, the tools that I use and whatnot. So check the link down description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement part. To remove the RAM, all you have to do is just push these two little metal clipper. The metal clipper clips onto the RAM. So if you push it away, the thing will just pop right out. Let's identify the RAM here, see what kind of RAM they are using. This one is running a 4 gigabyte PC4, meaning a DDR4 RAM. Okay, so this is 4 gigabytes. There's only one RAM slot. You can actually upgrade it to either 8 or 16 gigs of RAM, a DDR4. This is the M.2 SSD drive. 
remove the screws. I'm going to slide the, uh, the rim to the right. And if you notice that there's a heat thermal pad, which is the heat conductor. So this thermal pad allows to pull the heat from the M.2 drive and kind of disperse it at the bottom. It also gives you a little leverage to kind of support the M.2 to level off with the connector here. So when you remove it, you can feel a little bit sticky as you can just stick onto my gloves. You can see that the M.2 is sticking to my glove. So um, when you remove it, you might have a little bit hard time, but do not put a lot of force into it. All right, so this M.2 probably is what, 512 gigabytes. Let's see. This is a 512 gigabytes. I can see on the top here. You can upgrade it to whatever size you want, either one terabyte, uh, two terabyte, doesn't really matter. You can upgrade to any size you want. And I just wanted to point this out to you. This is a USB adapter. This allows you to pull the data off. So let's say that your computer is broken and maybe like a water spill or something damaged to it and you decided to get a new computer but you want the data so what you can do is to buy one of these USB adapter I'll link it down in the description below so this one is going to act like a USB thumb drive so you insert the uh, the hard drive here and I put this little rubber band over that to hold on the hard drive and you can just plug it into a secondary computer and this would act like a USB drive where you can pull the information out. Only given that the hard drive is still in a good condition, okay? I mean, if you spill water or anything to the computer, but if it gets to the hard drive, then, then maybe not. But you can give it a try. All right, so um, I'm gonna disconnect the Wi-Fi cable. This is white and black. Disconnect it just like by doing that. And uh, disconnect the keyboard flex cable, lift the clipper up, slide the cable down. That is the trackpad, lift it up, slide the cable down. This is the uh, speaker, so push that cable away. And you want to kind of follow along with the, uh, the CPU fan here to remove the Wi-Fi cable like such. Okay, that is the, uh, I believe is the one that goes underneath and go to the USB here on the top right corner. Slide it up. Okay. Oh, this wasn't a speaker. Actually, this is a CPU fan connector. I apologize, it's not a speaker. The speaker here is on the bottom left corner. That is the speaker. Okay, to remove it, all I have to do is just lift it straight up, like such, and then slide the connector down. Okay, let's remove the two screws on the top left hinge corner. The hinge is holding down the motherboard as well as the LCD screen. So to remove it, in fact, there are three screws. Uh, one of them is the white here and the other two are black. So once you remove that, I would try to open it up, but do the same on the right side. Remove this. Remove this and this. Okay, lift it up a little bit and then push it all the way out. This is the LCD connector for your screen. Slide it away from you. The whole thing will just come right off. Okay, now to remove the motherboard is very straightforward. Um, there's a lot of things you need to remove. For example, these two screws here, top and bottom. 
looks like you have to remove the CPU fan as well. You still have to uh, Alright, I think I got it. The entire motherboard, CPU, fan, and a heatsink all together in one piece. I just removed it entirely. And that is the uh, the motherboard. Alright, so gonna just want to explain to you that the keyboard again is a full assembly. As you can see, it is not replaceable. The key keyboard on its own, you have to change out the whole thing. Which is kind of bad in a way. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. So tear down on the Asus Vivo book. I hope this video is helpful. If you do find the video is helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And again, I just wanted to um, uh, share with you that if you feel like this video helps you in, in any way and you want to show appreciation to support my work, my channel, uh, please go ahead and click on the YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube Super Thanks allow you to share your gratitude and support the work that I do. Alright, good luck and other than that, all the best and talk to you next time. Bye now.